Good day, gentle folk. We are back with some more Illusion of Gaia. Tonight we're going to wrap up the Larai Cliff. And I think I'm going to put a twist on things and try to fight the last boss with Will. Instead of using freedom. And hopefully I'm going the right way because I do not quite remember what I was doing. It's been a couple of days since I played. And before we really get started, I do want to kind of correct myself on a few things I said in the previous um, episode. One thing I said was uh, something about... Let's get away from that guy. Was something about... Um, it was in response to a comment one of the NPCs makes about the Inca not having written language. And I said, oh, well, they do. They had this uh, knot tying system. I was actually somewhat wrong there. The Inca used that as a record keeping system. I was kind of half remembering it or misremembering things. So I. And I kind of wondered if I, if I was. So, you know, there you have it. They didn't, but they did have a record-keeping system. And, uh, you know, in a way that is kind of the precursor to a written language. So, there's that. Um, also, I said that some of the statues in Ituri Village weren't really Incan. Um, I do kind of stand by that remark. I looked some of that stuff up, looked up pictures of it because, at least from the classes I had, you know, I didn't, definitely not an expert in, uh, you know, pre-Columbian America, <laughs> but, um, I do kind of remember, you know, some of the classes I had and stuff, talking about that and reading about it. Well, they're they're close, so. You know, they are kind of a, they are kind of in in step with that art style, but they're they're not quite thinking. But I think they did a fair job on them. All in all, and yeah, this is a video game. It's supposed to be fun and entertaining. You know. I don't expect it to be accurate, and I'm probably best off not picking on it when I'm not really an expert in. <laughs> in some of these things, so yeah, I did. Uh, I did study this stuff, but um, I'm a bit more knowledgeable about European history and uh, later American history. And let's not get killed here. Hopefully, you guys can hear this a little bit better. Um. I uh, I tried turning the, the volume up a little bit more. Like I said, the sound in this game is just so faint compared to just just about any other game, and it's really kind of peculiar because the uh, the sound fonts and the composition is just you know spectacular, but for whatever reason, it's it's very faint. I'm not really sure why. I'd, I'd like to look into that. Maybe it was just the way it was mixed. I don't know a whole lot about um, audio, so especially like the techniques they used at this point in time. And kill these slimes. This is one thing that's interesting about this game is that it has a lot of really standard kind of enemies that you'd expect in a, in a game, like slimes and skeletons and stuff. But then they have like really cool things, like their statues, like I think they're awesome. And they're actually kind of uh, unique, really. I mean, well, I guess Legend of Zelda had them. They're kind of like, uh, I can't remember what they were called, but there are statues you do touch in Zelda and they come to life. It will be interesting fighting this boss 
It's coming up, I think, shortly. If I remember correctly. I found an herb. It will be interesting fighting this boss with uh, Will. I think this boss is actually one of the tougher bosses in the game. Not super hard, but a little bit tough. Can we? We might need these statues in a little bit. Let's see how many enemies. We have six enemies left. Yeah, I, I guess we do. We have to kill them all. What does that? What does a switch do? So many questions. Oh, it brings them all to life. You know, it's funny. I just played this game last year, and there's there's so much I forget from year to year. But, you know, that's the nice thing about being able to come back and do these again. And I guess I'll fight these guys. I think that's all that Switch does is bring the statues to life and either get you killed or allow you to get the, um, the whatchamacallit, the power up, which we just got there. Okay, so it looks like we will be heading to this next area. I'm kind of tempted to walk back to Eidery Village and see what the NPCs say, especially Will's grandparents. I remember doing it years ago. I don't really think they say anything um, stupendously enlightening. And that's a nice little bonus right there. I just love those effects, by the way. The, uh, those clouds that you can see, or fog, or whatever that's mist. This game does have a, a nice, uh, a nice variety to its stages, and it also, you know, in, in some points it also is, looks like they put a lot of work into it. Unfortunately, it kind of, like towards the end, it kind of falls apart in spots. I guess they were running out of money or whatever. I mean, it's not bad at any point. It's just, uh, not quite as, uh, carefully made. Not as many details and whatnot. I mean, that happens. It's business. Well, all in all, it's a fairly strong game. And I feel that one thing this game has on its predecessor, which was uh, Soul Blazer, is that the bosses are far better designed and uh, balanced. Soul Blazer had a lot of very easy bosses and a few bosses that were just like stupidly hard. Well not stupidly hard but kind of tough. There was one boss in particular that gave me a rough time. I think it was the uh, second boss. Which is funny because people often complain about the first in that game. Oh, well, life. But you know, both great games. They're both very different from each other too, which is something I like about this series. Each one is uh, rather unique. As we'll see with Terran Enigma coming up next. So I might do might do videos of that. I never played it before, and I'm trying to do things that I'm familiar with. But it's a good game, and you know, it wouldn't wouldn't hurt to play it. Maybe I'll play it with a guide on hand, so I'm not stumbling around 
making the uh, video painful to watch. I think my Mega Man LPs are painful enough. But I know I'm not equipped. Okay, here we go. Let's clear this out. What are, what are these things? They remind me of uh, these, these little bugs they call roly polies. I don't know if anyone's ever seen them. I remember seeing them as a kid and asking someone what they were. Note about the Incas. They have no written language. Yeah, yeah, you guys are right. They don't. They left, they've left their legends in sound. I have succeeded in deciphering the Incan melody of the wind. Chant in the golden room. Does that mean to play the melody of the wind? Oh, excuse me there. Like I said, I've been down with uh, a, little, a little bit of congestion. I actually had to skip a couple days until I felt better, so... That's so why I was kind of trying to get my bearings as to where, where, where I was and what I was doing. Nice that I've played this game a few times. <laughs> And we will return to Young Will. The guy almost <laughs> looks like Medusa. I don't know. I really don't know what they were getting at with her. I, maybe they're supposed to be like tree roots or something since she's the Earth Spirit. Yeah, I'll continue. Then go. Get the F out of here, Will. I mean, he's such a 90s kid. 90s SNES character, if I've ever seen one. The, the embodiment of it. And there's a golden room down here. So, this place, I think they were trolling a bit when they did this. I can't imagine. Um, we'll, we'll get rid of these gems. I always try to get these things as close together as possible. I don't know why. There's times when you can uh, do that. But I can't imagine what they were thinking with um, with this game when they did this room because you have to play this melody, but you have to wait like a few seconds for the uh, tile to light up. And I think you have to stand on it a while. I could be wrong about that. But, you know, it just seems like they were trolling a bit there. And these herbs, I, I always thought they looked like peas. So that's enough boring jabbering. Play the wind melody. When touched by the echo of the flute, the gold block began to glow. Well, no, you don't have to wait. Or you have to stand on it for a bit. That's what it was. I can only imagine being like a young kid playing this. And going, well, what, why isn't anything happening? They don't, they don't tell you you have to stand on it for a bit. Um, at least here in the U.S. No, oh, no, don't want to do that. At least here in the U.S., the um, the game came with a guide that I did peek in. It was actually in the manual, and it was sealed away. I'll warrant them that. But you know, who's not going to peek? And this is it, I think, for uh, the cliff. 
we are going to come to the boss now. And hopefully I'm going to be able to kill this sucker with uh, Will. Like I said, he is a little tricky. Not too bad. But he doesn't play games. Okay, there we go. And we will save. Now there is one set of bosses in this game that's just absolutely notorious. As you can see the wind's blowing now. And those are the vampire bosses. I will definitely try to beat them with Will. We'll fight a huge enemy. When he suffers damage, rays of light will shoot from his head. If you suffer damage, hide behind him. Okay. I think that's a... It's real helpful guy. I guess it's... I guess there's less attacks or something coming from behind. Is a, what they were trying to say. Here we go. Quite a bit of wind. I wonder what this leads to. Oh, I guess that's the way back. So you don't get trapped for whatever reason. Nice of them. <coughs> Sorry about that. Here we go. Tense moment. Now you gotta take out his hands. This guy's a nasty SOB. He really likes to shoot a lot of stuff at you. And his, even his hands aren't, <laughs> are only like vulnerable for a short period of time. Now I guess I gotta hide behind his head, where he starts shooting at me. And that did a lot of good. Probably did more harm. Um, really it's his fire attacks. That. are the most um, irritating. That bouncing ball thing of fire is just very distracting. And when you're dealing with the hands on top of it, it's just Ah, oh, come on. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Now we gotta get out of here. I guess we just stand right here and we're good. I guess so. I'm gonna have to use an herb. That's okay. Not at all. I'm not a fan of this guy at all. It's very, uh... It's just kind of annoying to fight, really. Okay, we're going to use an herb. Take the medicine. Eating the herb, he regains his strength. Chris, I get hit. <laughs> Why not? And so you get for eating her at will. Um, come on, come on. Ugh. With freedom, it's a bit easier, really. Oh, man. 
because um, you have that extra reach. And in fact, I think I think Freedom can actually stand back in that annoying fire. Can't hit him. Oh, okay, we have the area of equipment. Open your eyes, buddy. If one thing doesn't hit you, it's the other. Oh no. No, I was sick and said I'm gonna fight this guy. With Will. <laughs> Having second thoughts here. Probably shouldn't have psycho dashed him. No. Oh, my herbs. So if you, f oh, if you fight him with well done, don't use a psycho dash on his hands. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay, get away, get away, get away. Oh, the BS. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> Making this guy the area one boss. He's easier with freedom, obviously, but... Like, not by much. On the very first boss, and totally out of her. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yes. So here we go, we beat it with Will. That was not not too shabby. Um, I did use all of my healing stuff. It's been years since I've fought him. And uh, I was never good at him. So, even with freedom. But hey, now we're going to get to an awesome part of the game. Ah, the big reveal. This is the Ink and Gold ship? What? I feel like something, someone's there. So yeah, this is uh, really nice. And that's very Ink and... These uh, sun symbols. That's something they did like. Look, look, the king has returned. And he's much shorter. Oh, I wonder why they're, they're saying I'm the king. It's the king. You're safe. Oh, wait. I'm the king? Okay, I was just wondering what he said. King, you're safe. Now we can set sail. The queen is in her stateroom. Please show her that you're okay. 
is a happy occasion. We have waited for you for such a long time. So yeah, I always thought this was just so cool. You know, especially coming out uh, after coming out of that tough boss fight, and you know that level, which is fairly climactic. I think there's a red gem. Oh look, okay, I'm looking around the ship, but I expect you're tired. Look around, then rest in the spot. Through the darkness, a bright light is visible in front of the cave. As, you, as the ship set sail, that light represented the freedom we had just won. And I'm going to hold off on this for one second. Because... Why must we flee? It is our home. It is our home? You mean this is our home? The mystic statue is in this box. Preparations are being made to set sail. Well, are you going to the crow's nest? You can watch the ship set sail. Now, I wonder, do I need to open the box to go up the nest? I always grab that, like, right away. Maybe we can do things out of order, let's see. Oh, well, yeah, I guess the kid just stands there. Maybe opening the box triggers him moving. It's a mystic statue. Let's take a look at this. I mean, what is that? Like, is that... It looks like a frog. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even. Um, I was reading... Uh, a translation. An alternate translation of this. I'm trying to track a very thorough one down. But, uh, last year I was reading... Uh, something someone put up in a forum... I don't know how accurate it is, but there's uh, mystic statues according to the translation person posted, which was partial. Um, they were calling the mystic statues in Japanese, they were calling them mystery dolls. So I, I'm guessing mystic statue might have been a slightly better choice. Mystery dolls. The queen is still wearing the ring she got from the king. That's right. It's the ring he gave her when they were separated by the invaders. Since then, she has thought of nothing but him. How sweet. These thrones are creepy looking. <laughs> creepy face. That's, you know, you want to sit on that. Inca queen. Good, you have returned safely. As you were told, until now, I've been guarding the mystic statue of the wind. That's the statue you were awarded by the spirits. It's in the jewel box in the storehouse below. Look for yourself. Well, thank you, queen. And we'll go out. He just says the same thing. Now, this part... If landing on here is awesome, this is just super awesome. Oh, short king. <laughs> Look there. The ship is coming out of the cave. After living in darkness for so long, the brightness is like a new beginning. How can invaders come to destroy a world as beautiful as this? Yeah, I always thought this was just 
just great. Like they just uh, they just did it with real flair. And jumping down from that mast is great too. I used to actually climb up this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I used to climb up it and jump down it, just just to jump. All right, that's enough of that. And I guess they just say the same thing. I mean, I guess they do. I don't know, they should have saved his bit of text for um, later down the line, like when you get out. It's in the jewel box in the store. Yeah, okay. Alright. There we go. Oh, I think I had to talk to her. Well, let's go talk to this kid. Wifely. Uh, okay. Let's try and remember which one I have to talk to. It's her, actually. I'm sorry that it's so shabby, but please try to get some rest. Sure. Let's get some rest. I fell into a deep sleep and was pulled inside a dream. I just, I think this song is awesome too. Another great track. Just has that dreamy feeling to it. Who's this? Can we leave? No. Mother? Will's mother, Shira. Look in the sky. The comet is so beautiful. After years and years, the comet approaches the Earth, then recedes. Some say it's an unlucky star. Some say it's a lucky star. Will, what do you think? Hmm. I'll say it's a lucky star. All right. Then hope that happiness doesn't slip away. I think this is probably one of, like this whole scenario in this game is, it's just magnificent. And this, this right here, like, you know, like, there's something to be said for the way they used to narrate these games. You know, you have the music, great soundtrack, and you see this kid's mother, you know she was dead from the beginning of the story. You see her in a dream, and they just kind of like crop out the rest of the scene. It's, it's just brilliant stuff. Yeah, that's really had a lot of uh, love quality, a lot of artistic. Very inspired, I guess. It's just what I'm trying to say. Will, I am always watching over you. than this. Lily. Will. Will. Wake up. Now this, like, like I said, this whole scenario is just great. Because he wakes up and, you know, look at the ship. Like, this is where the Inca were standing. Like, they're all dead. Like, that's just... spooky. You're back so late. 
The elder must have read your fortune. He said that you were floating alone on the sea. I was so surprised. See, and this is where... Uh, you, you don't even... S oh, yeah, the flower spirit guy. That, that elder, okay. Um, but, you know, this is where I was saying the story gets dark. <laughs> it gets dark really quick. Because, you know, these people died on the ship trying to flee invaders, and they died waiting for their king who never came back. Like, that's, that's pretty, pretty morose, macabre stuff, you know? You were acting strange, so we followed you. Then we reached a strange town. Wait, don't call it strange. I was born there. It's invisible. I call that pretty strange. Well, how, how did they find it then? Well, you can't go on a journey without telling us. Since we're friends, we have to share good times and bad. Unless maybe they were following him and just saw him. I, mean, I don't know, maybe he broke the barrier with the song? Who knows? Okay, oh, we want to wait before we go here. Just because. Make sure there's no red gems. I always think there's a red gem everywhere. And hopefully I'll be able to hoard some herb. Because after that fight, I'm, I'm hurting. And that's okay because, you know, if this will run doesn't work out, I can always just use freedom and just muscle everything down. And uh, the next boss we'll, we'll be fighting isn't that hard anyway, so, you know. Nope, we don't want to go there, but we will go here. Even the sea is different. You can go out and see it. Go out and see the sea. <coughs> I was surprised. Oh, it's you. Will, don't scare me. Ugh, oh, Eric. That kid. I guess they were trying to say you surprised me. Sometimes the translation is a little bit, uh, shitty. Other times it's pretty, pretty good and nuanced. Is there anything up here I don't really remember? I don't know, even the sails are tattered. I don't know how the ship saw. Moving so fast. You can't jump down. That's great. We're going to see a lot of skeletons in this game. Like, these are just uh, a few. Mm, look, it's Seth. I found a strange jewel on board the ship. I'll give it to you. Will gets a red jewel. Well, thank you, Seth. It's the first time I've ever given you anything. Take care of it. He just, his sprite looks kind of... kind of weird. I don't know. The way they did his glasses. Now we'll go over here. Very good reasons for waiting. Oh, what a pretty lady. She's like very... She's much bigger than like all the other skeletons. Like, did she have giantism or something? They perished waiting for the king's return. I can't stand anything that disrupts people's people's peaceful lives. Oh, Kara. You're... I don't even... The queen's mummy sleeps silently. There's a gold ring on her long, slender, bony finger. That ring must be one of the artifacts put on the ship. This is the most valuable of all the artifacts. Now why would you say that, Lily? Because, like, the whole ship is made out of gold. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. I just, you know, really don't. Many people have lost their lives trying to get rich by finding this ring. I want the ring. It's so pretty. I really must have it. Have you no shame? You could be cursed! 
Uh oh. What? Now, I guess we can assume that Kara grabbed the ring. What? Maybe it belongs to Riverson. In this part of the ocean, there are fish that are dangerous as well. Sharks! Now, I guess Kara takes the ring. Keep that in mind. Are you okay? I don't know why they didn't make that more clear. Wah! That's Seth. It's coming from the deck. What happened to Seth? Something happened. E! It's Seth! A huge, enormous, giant fish ran into the ship. Sob. Seth fell in the water, sob. He was swallowed, gulp, sob. You, you really had to make the gulp sound. <laughs> oh, Eric. What was that? I tell you, I should have a job voice acting. Ugh! It's that fish again. We'll all be dessert. Stop crying and grab this, or you'll fall overboard. Uh-oh. So, uh, this part, like, I don't know, like, I think, in some ways it was, I don't know, I never liked the part about Seth being eaten by a giant fish. It was, it was kind of like, I don't know if they were trying to be goofy, if they were trying to be dramatic, but it came off as goofy. And, like, I don't know. Like, I get the feeling that they weren't trying to be campy at that point. But that's just me. Let's see. Let's see what Kara has to say. You've just come to. I've lost everyone. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm a... Well, I got manned up and said I'm okay. You recover quickly. Like a lizard's tail. What a strange thing to say, Kara. I read about being adrift, but I never thought it would happen to me. Disasters sometimes happen suddenly. <laughs> wow. Wow. Captain Obvious, sir. So you walk around on the raft for a little bit. You probably can talk to her again, or hit her with the flute. Don't be upset. Don't think about the future. Let's just enjoy drifting. I'm starved. I'll have the meat I brought from the castle. You mean that meat that has been in Will's pocket for an undisclosed amount of time? Okay, enjoy it, guys. We bit off some of the meat. It was better than any of the food we'd ever had. Okay, yeah, enjoy your... Um, food poisoning there. Drifting, day two. As you see, your life is slowly being drained away from hunger. And I don't know. See, this world is slightly different than our regular plain old planet Earth. But, um,. That is probably salt water, and you can't drink that. So, unless maybe in this version of Earth, which I'm not, I'm not going to go into all that, but uh, maybe in this version of Earth, that's fresh water in the seas, although that would be kind of impossible, but, you know, I don't know. That's my guess, because they have to be drinking something. Even after seeing it all day, I still never get tired of it. Yep, well, I'm hitting the fish. What are you doing? The poor fish! I so said, you keep hitting the fish and they get mad. Or she gets mad. I guess the fish get mad.
Just piss her off. You, okay. You're just gonna say the same thing. Well, I'm just gonna stand in the corner of the raft here and die. Yep. Time passed slowly, with nothing to break the monotony. Kara just stared at the fish all day. I, Will couldn't stand it. He walked around on the raft and talked to Kara many times. A minute seemed like forever, but he could hear the march of time. Drifting, day four. I have a premonition. Help is coming. What? Oh look, help. Yes, yay, help. Something is drifting here. There is a letter in the jar. The contents read, We are on a ship on our way to be sold as forced labor in an unknown land. If anyone reads us, please save us, Sam. But where is Dean? Um, yeah, so basically these people are slaves. You're going to see some more of that later on. And uh, they, they kind of try to cherry coat it a little bit, but like I said, this game's pretty dark. And it's, I always thought it was obvious, like forced labor. You know, what, they're going to force you to work than pay you? And, I don't know. But um, I have seen people comment on this game and say, well, I don't know what this is about or what that's about. Well, I mean, you know, it's kind of clear what's going on, but, you know, maybe that's just me. Um, playing all these old Super Nintendo games back in the day, you kind of, like, get pretty good at reading in between the lines, or just kind of, you know, they called them Woolseyisms, the, uh, the self-censorship of Nintendo, where they would use a euphemism, uh, and in lieu of something that they might think would be too controversial or whatever. But, uh, you get pretty good at, kind of, you know, uh, extracting the real meaning pretty quickly. But, so yes, there's that. My premonition! You said you wanted to be saved? But it's me who needs to be saved. What? Oh, I am so starved. You should have caught that fish. If you had, I can't hurt such a pretty fish. Are you saying it's better to starve? Raw fish gives me the creeps. I can't eat it. Besides, the fish is fighting to stay alive. Fish feel pain. Have you ever thought of how the fish feels? If you want to eat it, go ahead. I'm not going to eat it. Okay, Kara. Okay, so that's... Kara didn't say anything all day. Typical princess. She's such a bother. Drifting, day seven. Drifting, first week, a school of fish. He reached the end of his rope. If he didn't eat more, he thought he would starve. Mmm, fish. Now you can kill him and eat him. Like, this guy can eat. Like, he just belt it down for fish. Well, I guess after seven days of not eating. Look at that fish. Oh. They fade away after a while. Let's keep... Whacking those fish out of the pond with your, your flute body. Very, very effective. I'm gonna eat, Kara. Sorry I talked to you that way yesterday. I'll try to eat the fish. 
I can't do anything if I starve. Oh wow, she, I, she, she's like Princess Obvious. <laughs> That's, oh my god. Only in peacetime can you refuse food that you don't like. Let's catch a fish, a good one. Yum yum yum. Happily, Kara ate some fish. Will found that he was starting to develop feelings for Kara. Oh my. Drifting, day 12. The stars are beautiful. If I were taller, I could reach them. Kara, Kara, Kara. Now, if you'll note, there is actually a red star. I think they pointed out. Surely Lily and Lance are looking at the same star-studded sky. If I could talk to the stars, I could find out where everyone is. There seems to be some extra star near the constellation of Cygnus. Yes, that red star. Shall we make a wish upon that star? I have a feeling it will come true. Will, you close your eyes too. Ah, oh, how romantic. I hope for everyone's safety and for my father. Hmm, that fade out. Drifting, day 18. Six days, well. Wow. We've been adrift for almost three weeks now. Hasn't your hair gotten a little long? Just a little? Ha ha ha. Kara doesn't act like a spoiled princess now. Well, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, three weeks on a raft eating raw fish will eh, take the snob right out of you. If you told someone she was one of the island girls, no one would doubt it. It's terrible. What is that? They're in the water. <gasps> Sharks? Maybe a shark? Oh, Kara. Once again with the obvious. We could be eaten. What should we do? Hit him with your flute. We'll defend Kara with the flute twirl. It always works. They're circling our raft, but they're not attacking. What are they going to do? Eat the raft? Let's think about this. Like, the, you know, this isn't Joel's. And we have to wait a little bit. And I think this is a pretty good scene in the game, this whole raft thing. But it is a little slow paced. Oh, I don't know. Well, she said she remembered something about the sharks. I didn't mean to flip through it like that. My grandpa told me that only humans attack living things and they're not hungry. Then what we're doing is not unusual human behavior. We didn't eat the fish until we were starving. That's right. They're going. Goodbye sharks. Oh, here we go. Drifting, day 21. When I was in the castle, I loved watching a sunset. The sunset was so beautiful from the corridor of the castle. But now I've come to hate it. After the sun has set, the darkness comes. <sighs> Obvious. I thought I'd never see the sunrise again. But since you're with me, I see a beautiful sunrise every morning. With you by my side, I can even enjoy times like these. I wanted to say the same thing to you. Somehow the words just wouldn't come out. I just nodded, saying nothing. Oh! Suddenly Will fell over unconscious. Will, Will, what's wrong? Wake up! Don't leave me here alone. 
then fade out. But fortunately, it's not as bad as it looked. Man's voice. You can wake him up now. He'll be fine if he takes vitamin C. Because we make vitamin C supplements in this day and age. And know about it. It's scurvy, a disease caused by long-term lack of vitamin C. Hmm? Columbus's crew contracted at once. Nothing to worry about. When it gets worse, the blood gets bad, and the skin turns black. The gums bleed, and the body starts decaying. Fun. Stop it. I don't want to listen to such talk. Ha ha ha. I'm glad you're okay. But you know best. Thank you. You should thank the dog outside. He found your raft and came to get me. Will, Will, wake up. We've reached land. We're saved. Ugh. Kara, where am I? We're at the home of the kind man who saved us. You've been tossing in your sleep. I kept putting the blankets on you, but you threw them off. This is the south outskirts of Oakton. We'll never see Oakton, by the way. The city of... And I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I guess Frisia. Yeah, Frisia. Is half a day to the north. If you're looking for your friend, you should look in a big town. Oh, well, thank you. And he just jumps out of the bed. You should thank the dog outside. He found your raft and came to get me. At any rate, let's go to Frisia. I'm going to thank the dog. Come back when you're ready. Okay. And we've got a red jewel. Well, let's see what's here. Nice, nice ocean seaside view here. Very nice. Woof, woof. This dog's name is Turbo. Isn't he cute? Well, let's go. Maybe we'll see Lily, Lance, and Eric. They went to Frisia. Now, Turbo is actually also in uh, Terranigma, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's a fun reference there. And we're at Frisia. I really like this city. I'll talk more about it later because I am going to end this video momentarily. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's nice. What a great city. People who live in such a pretty place must have beautiful hearts. What a cute couple. Have you decided where you're staying tonight? No, not yet. We're looking for someone. Well, well. Why not base your search here? It's settled. I'm exhausted. Don't you like it, Well, Let's go. Like, do they have money or something? Like... Um, like, they just take them into the hotel? Let's see if my memory serves me correctly. There is a save point in here. And yes, there is something to the city. Why it's so dingy in the background. But we will get to that next, uh, next video. I think this is running a little late, a little long. Um, so I think this was definitely a very momentous uh, bit of the game. A lot happened, and uh, it was one of, one of my favorite sections of the game. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I'll be back in a couple days with a, another video of this. Until then, good luck and happy gaming. Thank you so much for watching.